What up everybody, it's your boy Big Troy back with another video. And today we have something rather unique here. We are going to take a look at a few of my toy photography pictures. And I'm gonna just talk through them and tell you guys what I was thinking when I took the picture. Y'all let me know if they was trash in the comments. Or what could I have done to improve in the picture? Right, I love this community because, man, we can all have input, man. If I'm trash, I'm trash, let me know. Or if I'm cool, you know, give me a thumbs up or something. Let your boy know that you appreciate these pictures you're taking. I'm gonna let you know off the jump, some of these pictures is trash. One thing I know, man, and I tell, I tell my buddies, man, it seems like the pictures that I spend the most time setting up are the trashiest pictures, man. I don't even get it. And then the ones that it's like, man, I may just have a quick thought run through my brain. Man, them things start looking crazy good. I don't know, man. I try to, you know, write things down sometimes. Or I try to set up the, the dial little by little. Because I try not to rush things all the time. But, man, it seemed like even if I spread it over a week, all that hard work go for nothing. Because I'd be like, man, the shot looks like garbage. But I tell you, man, I sit there for about five minutes. It looked like I created a masterpiece. I don't get it. Let me know. What do you guys do as far as how you set up your dials or you know your environments right before you're about to take a picture? Like, let me know the thought process. Help me. I mean, I got my own creative ways and things that I do, but man, they random, right? I got to be in that. That, that mood I gotta feel it you know I can't force stuff if I force stuff it don't turn out right and I ain't about that because I want everybody to appreciate the hobby you know and how somebody gonna appreciate some trash it ain't gonna happen anyway let's take a look at the first picture so picture number one we got Grogu aka baby Yoda. Now, I think this is one of those pictures that I was just sitting at my desk and I was like, man, I want to take a picture. So I was like, man, what action figure have I not taken a picture with in a long time? And then look to my left, I got little Grogu. And so then I was like, all right, what could I have him doing? Well, since the action figure doesn't have too much articulation besides like the head and the arms, I'm like, man, we're going to show him using some force powers. And then, you know, he's so innocent. So I'm like, what could you possibly have him do in the pictures? Well, how about reaching for some ice cream? I think the ice cream cone in the picture was from like some accessory pack that I got off Amazon. They had like a whole bunch of like food, uh, like items in the package. And then, as you can see, I got some floating rocks. I think that was from, like, another package I got off Amazon that um, it came with, like, a bunch of rocks that could, like, be pieced together or um, stacked on each other. So I just literally took, I believe I saw someone on YouTube use, like, clothes hangers. And I cut up a, a wired clothes hanger. And I used some, like, blue, we call it, like, sticky tack. And I put the rocks on the wire clothes hangers to get them suspended in the air. So that's how you have like those three boulders hanging in the air, as well as the ice cream cone. You can see on the left side, I did not do a good job like editing out the uh, the sticky tack or even like the wire. You can see it a little bit. I think I tried to create like a, a haze effect so you couldn't see it too much. But I mean, if you just glancing over it, you ain't never gonna notice it, but now that I told you, that's the only thing you gonna see. <laughs> anyway, and then the background, I think it was just like blue construction paper. I was using some new um, Photoshop-like program to edit the uh, picture. So I was trying to create like grass effect at the bottom, but I have not perfected this um, software. It's, it's just a basic, image editing software and I also used it to remove the uh, wired 
clothes wire from the picture as well so that's how i did it maybe i'll drop the name in the the uh the um uh, below but yeah nothing so serious a little simple picture i would say in the scale on my scale from one to ten ten being a picture i really like and one being trash i'm gonna get this about a uh four maybe a four or a five just because i do like grogu i do like the the effects of the rock in the background as far as them floating in the air seem like he has uncontrolled use of his force powers at the moment him sitting on top of that rock is pretty cool but it's not great four or five good effort next we got a ben affleck version of batman from i believe it's the justice league movie this is the mcfarlane toys uh, batman i like this picture it's a basic statue pose but i was messing with like the uh, lighting and i was messing with uh the editing software again and then y'all see my brick wall that i'm so proud of that i put in the background made with styrofoam that was like the first diorama piece that i personally made so of course i'm so proud of it and i put it in almost all my shots just look for it <laughs> but um yeah like i said this was more so me messing with lighting and then i was also trying to like improve like the facial quality on the action figure i was trying to make him look more realistic i was trying to get some highlights off of his armor and then i put a little haze at the bottom of the picture just me kind of goofing around and once again it turned out to be like a pretty cool picture um i wasn't trying to do anything serious in this picture as far as um you know put a whole lot of accessories or like props or things in the background i was just messing with the camera um and this is what we got so i would think or i would say on my scale one to ten i'm gonna give this a five just because he looked cool he looked cool it's a basic pose i like the haze that i had at the bottom i like the light at the top i like the uh, reflection of the light off of the the center of his suit it just looks real real powerful real powerful stands maybe next time when i pose with this batman you know i'm gonna put him in a more dynamic pose because uh, that's what it's about man i want to bring the action figure to life you know make it look like there's some motion i want it to be able to tell a story without me seeing anything if i can tell a story without explaining to an individual what's exactly i'm trying to get across in the picture then i feel like i accomplished the goal you guys feel that way that's how i feel but most importantly i do it because it's a hobby right um i don't get stressed out or overly stressed out if people don't you know like the picture but if it's not fun then why do and then the last picture we're gonna look at today is of the teenage ninja turtles and grogu and I'm gonna call this the babysitters. Why? Because you can see Mikey trying to feed Roku some Pringles. So, like I said with the last picture, this is what I try to get off. I wanna be able to tell a story without saying anything to someone who didn't know I took this picture, right? So by looking at it, hopefully you can tell that we got the Ninja Turtles with Master Splinter here. And Mikey is trying to see if Grogu is going to eat the Pringles. Or he's just feeding the Pringles to Grogu. Right? The babysitters. I do have, uh, I think those are extreme sets. Uh, like the cardboard backdrop there. And I was trying to use like a little depth of field action here. You can see we got uh, Mikey. We got Ralph. And we got... Uh, Leo in the back. I thought I had Donatello, but I guess he did not come up on the camera. Or I think he's like behind Ralph over to the left. But for the shot, I cropped him out because it didn't make sense of 
having him in the shot. It did it more justice if he was out of the shot. So that's what I got here. Master Splinter holding Grogu. We got Big Raphael supervising the whole situation. We got Leonardo on the back, just almost disapproving of the shenanigans of Mikey. I thought this one was pretty cool. On the scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give this one a seven. I was I was pretty happy after this picture, to be honest. What you guys think? Out of all three pictures, what do you think was the best? I'm gonna say that this was probably the best of the three. Um, yeah, definitely. In my opinion, I could have did better with the the Grogu shot, but is what it is so like i said you know i do it for fun as everybody who does photography or toy photography if you ain't having fun what's the point right it's just like a little stress relief right I'm trying to recreate the scenes from a movie or from a comic or create new things right you can have things mismatch like we got going on here just gotta have fun that's what it's all about but let me know you guys thoughts i'll probably do these type of videos you know every so often you know i got a lot of uh toy photography um, that i take usually i post on the instagram on my instagram page but i try to post it on the youtube page as well so you can check me out at both places but let me know you guys thoughts in the comments and remember, y'all be safe out there. Peace.